Hello everyone. Now I talk about uh, org mode quite a lot and uh, org mode is basically uh, a feature in Emacs to take notes and maybe manage your own personal pro projects, to-do list. Now, most of us, or I should say majority of us uh, these days uh, don't just work on the computer. We also work uh, or actually do monitor a few things that we have to worry about using our mobile phones. So if you have been using, let us say, a mobile based, mobile phone based uh, app for uh, task tracking, or maybe you are using, let us say, Evernote or Google Task, or, and I'm sure there are so many, I don't even know a lot of them, but uh, I know most of the popular task to do list managers these days have one app definitely one app for android or ios along with of course the web version or maybe the desktop version so if you are considering switching to org mode and uh, maybe this is bothering you that you won't be able to keep track of your uh, items tasks or uh, you know notifications reminders then today i thought i'll probably share this particular app called uh, Orgsly. Now, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I'll of course give you my honest opinion. I have used this app. In fact, I use it even now. I mean, uh, I have this app installed. Now, the way this app works is, uh, of course, you will install it. And by the way, I'm talking about this uh, app on uh, Android. Uh, so this is something that I want to, of course, show you. I don't really use uh, Apple phone. I mean, I, I used it once for making one app long back but uh, the the apple phone that i have is uh, somewhere in my drawer but i don't really use it for my actual mobile phone uh, thing i mean I, I don't really use it at all um, but for android i guess uh, majority of you are on android in fact i was uh, also using blackberry <laughs> And for, for a long time, I was actually using BlackBerry. It was actually recently, or in fact, two years ago, when I made the switch to Android. And on Black, even on BlackBerry phone, especially BlackBerry OS 10, you can actually have uh, or install Android apps. Now, the way this app works is you need to basically configure uh, the location of your uh, org file or, you know, that folder. And uh, once this location is configured, so for example, right now, if you remember from my previous videos of uh, org mode, I have been using org mode from within my Dropbox. And uh, I, although I don't really use Dropbox for anything else, I only use it because uh, <clears throat> I was looking for that uh, convenience where I work on my org file and I save it and, and, and I don't have to worry about syncing it. Because if you're using other tools like SyncThing or uh, Maybe you're doing it yourself. Maybe it's a GitHub repository. You have to basically commit the code. I know there are ways, but uh, I was looking for a simple way. And Dropbox, of course, you now works really well because you just, you know, install it. And right now, Dropbox is running somewhere. I, I think I have run it when I start my computer. So there is a line in my X uh, in it RC file that will start that will start actually the Dropbox CLI version. Now the thing is that when you have your uh, folder, and it, it it can be anything. I mean, for example, right now my repository is org mode, and the way this app works is that you need to, of course, connect it to your Dropbox, and uh, you can actually uh, just uh, forget about. Uh, I mean, of course, when you connect it to, Rob to Dropbox, you have to tell this app that you know this particular folder. Please sync it on my mobile phone, and that is it. So once you do this, it will actually work. Uh, by looking for any changes and uh, I mean the way sync is supposed to work so it will basically bring your uh, files in fact your org files uh, to your mobile app and based on the dates it can also have some notifications and uh, reminders it, it works really well but I because I, I want to give you my honest opinion I try and by the way you can also create a new uh, org entry for example this is, of course, my, you know, my, my different org files, you know, the, uh, I mean, I, I, I use a couple of files, or in fact, more than a couple of files, and uh, for each and every file, it will actually give you 
this nice, uh, it, it can actually get really messy. I mean, uh, if you have like big files and that is the concern because my org files, I don't really use too many files. I use like, you know, one, which is like the main master file where I store everything. Uh, so this is something where I was struggling with because this app already will sync really well and uh, it will show the items. But when you, when you have a very big file, uh, the thinking can, of course, uh, uh, take some time and you have to always, you know, go to, not always, but sometimes if the sync is not really happening in the background, you have to make sure that you go and manually click on the sync button. And because the whole idea of the mobile app is to basically have this bi-directional sync, if I'm, let us say, in the train and I remember something or maybe if I'm marking any activity as done, then I would do it from uh, the mobile phone app. And it worked, but... Uh, sometimes there was a problem with the thing because uh, maybe the, m maybe one one file is ahead of the other one. You know the way you merge two files if you, you if you're of course you if you're of course using version control. But that was not the, not really the case. If there is a if there was a mis mismatch, then uh, the app will refuse to sync, and then you have to maybe uh, configure the thing again, or you will probably revert the changes. So. The sync part was not massively smooth and because I had a very, very big file, I often uh, had to revert. So that that was the main reason why I didn't really use this app. Uh, I mean, I still have this installed, but it is not really syncing. I'll, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a bit assured that if I know that I won't have access to my laptop for two days, I can sync, I can basically have the same because it is nothing but a Dropbox folder. I will sync everything on Drop. I mean, everything goes to, to Dropbox, but I will make sure that my, that my mobile phone app will receive those uh, changes and I can probably work on it, or, or at least I, I will have access to it. So my recommendation would be to, uh, I mean, the conclusion that install it, use it as a read-only mode. Uh, that way it works uh, fine. But if you try to do bi-directional sync, then you may encounter issues. So just play with it. And uh, I thought I'll probably share that, you know, there is a possibility. It is not like a perfect replacement of your uh, standard popular task taking apps, but it will work. It usually works. And uh, if your usage is not very complicated, then I think it will work really well. Because if you have a single one file, and you're always making sure that the file structure is flat because usually if you're using org mode, you will have like multiple levels. Uh, and that was also a problem for me because my main master file is actually, it has normally four levels. Normally, I try not to go too deep, but I think four levels are usually, you know, fine. But the mobile app will probably not, I mean, it will work. It will not really, uh, you know, complain, but... Uh, there are more chances, more chances of messing up your uh, entries if you have like multiple subtrees. But if you have a flat level, flat file, maybe you just want one file called to do and you want to ensure that uh, that particular file is synced in. So maybe you can just just one file to update those entries, uh, something like inbox, because I do have your one inbox.org file, which I use for entry. So all the new items that I can, maybe if I'm working on something and I just remember, okay, I have to update or I have to do something, I will basically open the or capture using the control C, control C and it, I will capture it and it will go to inbox and there, then later on I will refile it to somewhere else. So maybe use this app for capturing that, you know, thing that you just remember or when you, whenever you are walking or maybe in your, if you're, if you're in a train, but uh, uh, for me, it never, it, it never re really was like a complete uh, bi-directional thing that worked perfectly. But there is an option, and I thought I'll probably share it with all of you today. Do give it a try, by the way, and uh, let me know if you have any better way to sync your org file with your mobile apps. And that is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.